Good morning. This is Rashad. Would you come to you live from my YouTube channel as I continue on my part series, The Week That Was. College Football History Review, the 1975 College Football Season. Now I'm already in Week 6. The games that were played in October 11th, 1975. Let's get into it. We're going to start with a top 10 matchup at the time for October 11th, 1975, Week 6. Number 9, Penn State versus number 10, West Virginia. About two top 10 teams, but Penn State shut out West Virginia 39 to nothing. The D-Lions generally did not take well to so others occupying the accustomed spot atop weekly Lambert trophy voting for Eastern Supremacy. Route of then Eastern number one West Virginia was devastating even though Mountaineers entered the game with 35 points scoring average. The Penn State defense forced five fumbles and held West Virginia to 200 yards, 241 yards below average. The Lions offense racked up 372 yards rushing with tailback Woody Petro leading away with 120 yards. Petra was one of four different players to rush for Penn State touchdowns while kicker Chris Barr kicked three field goals. Barr opened scoring with 52-yard effort early in the first quarter. The visitors, meanwhile, were dropping ball, losing six fumbles and throwing interceptions to facilitate five Penn State scores. Next, West Virginia's best scoring opportunity came in the second quarter. The 30-yard pass to wide receiver Scott McDonald ended with Fumble on Penn State, two yard line. Next, Maryland Tepins beat North Carolina State 37 22. North Carolina played against Notre Dame. Notre Dame ranked number 15 in the country, beat North Carolina 21 14. Quarterback Joe Montana's legendary story added early chapter as sophomore quarterback replaced injured quarterback Rick Slager in fourth quarter with fighting Irish trailing. 14-7. Montana quickly led to Noah Dane to two touchdowns. Key play on first drive was 38-yard pass to wide receiver Don Culliver that set up halfback Al Hunter's, Hunter's two-yard touchdown run. Second of game, Montana hit held tight end Doug Booth with two-point conversion pass to tie the game. Winning touchdown was recorded as 80-yard pass by wide receiver Ted Bergmeyer. Raised full distance after taking short sideline throw with a minute left. At the scoreless first half, North Carolina had grabbed 14 0 lead in the third quarter behind tailback Mike Voigt, who watched for 169 yards in game's opening score on a 12 yard touchdown run. Next, the Michigan Wolverines, number 18 team in the country, beat number 15 Michigan State 16 6. The game nodded at 6-6 late in the third quarter. Michigan quarterback Rick Litch put his stamp on in-state rivalry with a huge fourth down run to Michigan State 28-yard line. The Wolverines tailback Gordon Bell followed Leach's two-yard run for first down with 18-yard touchdown run three plays later. Kicker Bob Wood didn't waste rest of scoring for Wolverines with three field goals with wild his points. Came by of Kinger Hans Nielsen, two field goals, fullback Bob Lytle. Rushed for 111 yards to pace Michigan offense while Michigan State was led by quarterback Charlie Batten, which stood with what took ownership of Michigan season field goal mark with his 11. Illinois beat Minnesota 42 to 23. Next, Nebraska, number 14 in the country, beat Kansas. 16 to nothing. It took fourth quarter touchdown drive to finally put away the Jayhawks of Kansas as Nebraska managed only three field goals by kicker Mike Coyle in three quarters. Cornhuskers backup quarterback Terry Lux led a 64 yard drive that took only five plays for game sold touchdown. Only fourth quarter, only fourth surrendered through five games by the Kansas defense. Now, tight end Brad Jenkins caught Lux's 26 yard pass. Kansas was limited to only seven first downs. With quarterback Nolan Crumrell, great gaining 62 yards of teams, 121 yards rushing. The best scoring threat for Jayhawks of Kansas occurred at the end of the first half when Cromwell completed 50-yard pass to wide receiver Waddell Smith to three-yard line. At the halfback, Bill Kentfield's run lost three yards. The Jayhawks attempted field goal by kicker Dennis Corbett that was blocked. The Huskers romped for 258 yards rushing. Next, we got Oklahoma, number two team in the country against number five Texas, which is about two top five teams. Where Oklahoma, number two team in the country, beat number five Texas 24 17. Now, the Sooners, halfback 
Forrest Ivory, one of 19 sex natives, circled throughout Oklahoma roster, raced through hole for 33 yard scoring run late in the fourth quarter for winning touchdown. Oklahoma had 10 up in lead on kicker Tony DiRenzo's 45 yard field goal with the physical end Mike Phillips end zone recovery a faulty pitch by Texas quarterback Marty Akins. Dalton Akins pulled long points to within 10-7 on 38-yard scoring pass to wide receiver Alfred Jackson. Teams traded rushing touchdowns before Texas tied the game at 17-17 on kicker Russell Exhibit's 43-yard field goal. Now, Sooners then marched 79 yards to winning score, aided by face mask penalty called by called on safety Steve Collier. Later in the fourth quarter, halfback Joe Washington helped seal Oklahoma's win. A 76-yard quick kick that pinned the Longhorns of Texas on a 14-yard line with 2.30 left in the game. The Sooners' win was 25th straight and the fifth in a row in the Red River rivalry. Next, Texas A&M, the number 16 in the country, beat Texas Tech 38-9. Halfback Bubba Bean stylishly gave Texas A&M some third-quarter breathing room while taking a pitch out deep in their own territory and raced to 94 yards for a touchdown. With Bean's joint coming only three plays after the Aggies defensive back Jackie Wilson's leap for interception at his one-yard line, a and went from dodging bullet to firing fatal shot. Red Ray was quickly stalled and a and was on a move again, going 62 yards to insurance touchdown on a five-yard run by halfback Skip Walker. Texas Tech gained 319 yards on the nation's top defense with fullback Rufus Myers scoring on a three-yard run. Next, the Raiders limited themselves with five turnovers and bad snap that gave Aggies gift possession on Texas Tech four-yard line. Beans 180-yard rushing with two touchdowns, paced Texas to the A&M, attack that gained 343 yards on the ground. So, beat Baylor 41-3. Last but not least, North, North Texas State beat Houston 28 nothing in Irving. North Texas Reserve quarterback Ken Smith tore apart Cougars third quarter leading three touchdown drives. Starting quarterback Kenny Washington had marched Mean Green to one yard line in the second quarter before being knocked out of the game on hit by Cougar safety Gary Drake. North Texas scored many tuck points on the next play with one yard run by fullback Brad Hayman. Houston offense had trouble against coach Hayden Fries. North Texas defense led by nose guard Walter Chapman who had 13 tackles with four six turnovers. The youthful Cougars gained 241 yards but managed only one real drive that ended on downs on North Texas State. 11 yard line. The Mean Green proved when to be no fluke with 21 to 14 win over Tennessee later in the year. So, clues look at week six, the week that was college football season review, the 1975 college football season. Week six, October 11, 1975. Let's get into the AP polls of October 13th. Number 20 was Arkansas, 19 Maryland, UCLA was number 18, 17 Michigan State, 16 Tennessee, 15 Notre Dame. 14 Florida, 13 Arizona, 12 Colorado, 11 Arizona State. Now the top 10 round out is this. 10 Missouri, 9 Penn State, 8 Texas, 7 Michigan, 6 Alabama. Alabama number 6. Top 5 round out as number 5 Texas A&M. Nebraska number 4, Southern California 3, Oklahoma 2, and number 1 Ohio State. So that clues look at the week that was college football history in review. The 1975 college football season for October 11, 1975, week number six. Move fast, moving in this uh, recap of the 1975 season. I do a video of this magnitude tomorrow. Look at week seven of the games that were played on October 18, 1975. Please like, subscribe, and comment on the channel. I do a video of this magnitude tomorrow. Until then, talk to you soon.